disappointing. Question number seven, Melissa Lee. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Social Development and ask what recent announcements has she made on the government's welfare reforms? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, we have announced we are introducing new requirements to ensure children who live in benefit-dependent households get the vital education and health services they need, the services that can make a real difference for each child's future. These new social obligations support the work that's taking place across government to better protect and support our most vulnerable. We know that in this group Group are those who are not attending early childhood education, more likely to arrive at school unprepared to learn and more likely to not achieve. We want to break that cycle. Melissa Lee. Supplementary, what report has she seen that support the change in policy to ensure children in benefit dependent homes receive these health and education services? The Honourable uh, Mr. Paula Speaker, Bennett. I have seen comments from those who are best placed to know the impact of such a policy, such as the Early Childhood Council, whose CEO Peter Reynolds says this is, and I quote, one of the most important welfare reforms in recent years and likely to start changing lives the week it was implemented, um, end quote. And that while, and I quote, we are not completely comfortable with the idea of compelling parents to put their children into early childhood education, but believe the benefits too compelling to resist. Melissa Lee. Supplementary, what other reports has she seen to support the new social obligation requirements? The Mr Honourable Speaker, I have seen a proposal which says that, quote, too many of our kids are not prepared for school, end quote, and would allow four-year-olds in the school classroom. And that, of course, is um, from the member from the Labour Party, Louisa Wall. As this morning's Dominion Post editorial wrote, quote, instead of condemning the new measures, Labour and the Greens should be applauding this government for having the courage to tackle a problem that decades of well-intentioned but ineffectual policy-making have failed to remedy. Question number eight, the Honourable David Cunliffe. 